Hello, and welcome to another session of Anderson County Serves Here. I'm Carol Burdett, CEO of United Way of Anderson County, and it is always a pleasure for me to tell you more about how people are serving in Anderson County. Today, we're going to be talking about another part of how United Way serves in the community, and it's really kind of selfish. United Way has been around for a little over 75 years now, and if we continue to rely on our volunteers of the past, we will not have the leverage we need to be an organization that thrives into the future. So about three years ago, we determined that having a Young Philanthropist Academy would be a wonderful way of bringing young professionals to the table and helping them understand the value of the nonprofit community and understanding how they fit into the picture of ensuring that nonprofits are going to be around to serve people as they get into their middle and later professional life. So with the Young Philanthropist Academy, what happens is we have about 20 young professionals that come in and they go and serve at various nonprofits. And obviously we want them to learn about philanthropy. It's about service to the community through our time, our talents, and our treasure. So over the three years, we've had uh, great young professionals that have joined us at the academy. And I think they've all learned a great deal about Anderson County and how many ways there are to serve. Some of them may choose to serve at a nonprofit that helps children. Some may choose to work with a nonprofit that serves our senior community or that serves families. We just want them to find the niche that fits what they are most interested in. But this year, our young philanthropist class decided that they wanted to do a gala. They wanted to bring young professionals from the community together to have a lot of fun, but they also are doing it to raise money. And this is going to go to help greatly a need that we have and that is water safety. Now I'm not going to steal the thunder of those that are working on it but I will tell you that we are delighted that we have had sponsors, sponsors like Anderson County and others that are putting in dollars to ensure that our children are going to be safe. That's what this gala is all about. But we're also pleased that the young pros at AMED Health are partnering with the young philanthropists to make this a reality. Again, United Way wants to serve for years to come, but we can only do that when we bring our youth and our young professionals to the table, setting them up to understand the value of United Way for years to come. So my name is Grayson Smith. Um, I'm currently working at AnMed Health, been there for about six years now. Um, I currently serve as chair for the Young Philanthropists at United Way and also chair for Young Pros at AnMed. Um, so I was in the current um, or this past class of Young Philanthropists with United Way. It was a great opportunity to get involved with the community. Uh, lots of, uh, we, like Carol said, we had about 20 young folks going through uh, this program and got really plugged in to doing different community service projects and serving the community in various ways. Young Pros at AnMed Health is a resource group where um, we really focus on getting employees engaged with not only the organization but also engaged with the community. We have somewhere around 30 to 40 um, members in our Young Pros at AnMed Health, and we just really felt like this was a good opportunity for the two Young Pros and Young Philanthropists to come together, partner together, and make something happen in, in the community. This is a great, uh, sorry. That's oh, right. Tell me, uh, why did you get involved in this? Because a lot of people your age don't get involved in community service. Yeah, so I think the Young Philanthropist Academy was kind of an eye-opening for me as far as kind of needs in the community. Um, I think a lot of people are 
kind of, um, sorry. I think a lot of folks in the community aren't aware of some of the needs that need to be met in the community and Young Philanthropist Academy just really was a great way to open my eyes to what needed to be done in the community. So um, we picked, um, sorry, we picked Safe Kids uh, Water Safety Program because uh, we really wanted to serve that population. It, it's a great need in the community to um, to provide those life jackets for those kids. So we decided to do uh, the gala, the Young Professionals Gala. It's very a, a kind of a new idea to the community as far as a focus on young professionals um, raising money for a specific organization. Um, so we decided to focus on this organization um, to raise money for Safe Kids Anderson. Um, this this gala is, should I say the date? No, don't worry about the date. Just just say the the gala brought together whoever's coming to it, the kind of thing. The the gala brought together lots of young professionals in the community, and we were able to focus on a common goal, a common cause to help serve the community better. So if someone would like to get involved with the United Way or United Way Young Philanthropists, feel free to reach out to United Way Anderson County, um, Britton Rogers or Carol Burdett. Um, either one of those would be able to put, point you in the right direction. Right. Well, my name is Jackie McCall and I'm the Injury Prevention Coordinator at AnMed Health and I also coordinate the Safe Kids Anderson County programs. And Med Health is actually the lead organization for Safe Kids Anderson County. Um, they have been since 1999. I am coming up on my 22nd year at Med Health this December. So the Life Jacket Loaner program started back in the mid 2000s. Um, we actually saw a need on Lake Hartwell. Um, there were it was maybe 20. 2010 or 2011, we actually had 10 drownings between Lake Hartwell and Lake Kiwi all in the span of a week. And we realized that there were no, you know, just readily available life jackets. So Safe Kids Anderson County teamed up with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers or partnered up with the Corps of Engineers and we started building life jacket loaner stations. And so at the time, we set out to build eight life jacket loaner stations um, wherein people could just, you know, at certain boat ramps, you know, more of the heavily visited boat ramps um, could go out and really just if they were getting ready to load and they needed some extra life jackets, they could borrow. Um, of course, we do have a lot that do not get returned, but then in my mind, I think, what else are we going to do with those life jackets other than use them, hopefully. So, um, and then we also have seven campgrounds that do loaner stations. Um, now at the campgrounds, you know, we can provide um, like the, the um, I think it's the PFD3, which is more of the vested life jacket because in a lot of cases, you know, they might be able to scan that driver's license to try to get that product returned. But um, it's really, you know, we'd like to think it's cut back on the drownings and stuff on Lake Hartwell. Um, since that time, that program has become more self-sufficient, which is wonderful. Um, the Lake, Lake Hartwell actually has an HOA group that now will help to provide those life jackets annually, so that's been wonderful. Plus, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been able to work that into their budget, so that's been great. Um, our hope with this, um, I was really I'm extremely grateful when um, Grayson reached out and asked about some of the various Safe Kids programs and just asked me for some explanations of different things that we did. And they chose the water safety program to fund. What we really want to see here is a life jacket loaner station at Anderson Beach at Darwin Wright Park. Um, at any time during the summer when you go by there, that place is just slammed with families and children. And it is city owned, so we're really hoping to get a life jacket loaner station built there. Um, and that's something that this gala is going to help provide for. So it's going to provide building materials. It's going to provide the time for these young people to come out and be able to help to um, build this life jacket loaner station. And then it's going to fund life jackets, not just for this year, but potentially years to come. And have a lot of people taken advantage of the loaner program? Absolutely, yes, sir. I mean, we are. Con I mean, for years we were consistently purchasing more life jackets. 
and stuff. So yes, I believe it's been taken care of. Um, plus on top of that, I mean, life jacket loaner stations are popping up everywhere. I mean, Safe Kids has a South Carolina organization also. And so we have spread throughout South Carolina. So we have lakes all over the state. Um, there are actually lakes. We partnered with an organization, um, the Keese Foundation, that actually has life jacket loaner stations around the state of Missouri because um, the gentleman lost his son and grandson and stuff to a, um, they were out on the boat fishing and a storm came up and both of them died and so they took it as their mission to kind of get life jacket loaner stations. So he's also been in South Carolina helping to build some of those, more specifically along like Lake Kiwi and stuff, but I mean more than willing to expand to Hartwell, it's just that we had some of the programs already available. And so people find out about it when they get to the lake and they see the stations are set up there and Yes, sir. Um, they're big wooden board stations. They normally will tell you how to fit for a life jacket and stuff, and then the life jackets are just readily available, and you just pull them off the pegs. You find the one that fits you properly, and you use it. Because families in Anderson County have lost children to drowning, this particular uh, event and the cause for the event is so close and dear to so many people's hearts because in uh, no family ever recovers from the loss of a child uh, to drowning. And so United Way is so pleased to be joining uh, with our YP Academy and with the young pros at Amed Health to provide funding for such a needed cause. But we could not do it without the help of our sponsors. And our sponsors are uh, Anderson County, the YMCA, Community First Bank, Sync MD, Anderson University, Marshall and Jennifer Metters, and Morgan Cutts. We are so thankful that these folks have stepped up along with our ticket sales, all of the money going toward the hope that we will save a child's life. You know, United Way does so many different things, but one of the things that we do, uh, and we, uh, United Way does so many things in the community, but this summer we launched Camp I Rock. I always like to say it's little I, big R, I Rock. And that is a summer reading camp. And as a part of that summer reading camp, the afternoon is all about fun. Because we want children to know that reading is fun. And it's not a punishment that they are going to summer school. It's that they have an opportunity to learn more about reading, but have lots of fun. And part of that fun has to do with swimming. And we've had children in Camp I Rock that have never been in a swimming pool. And therefore, the swim lessons become so important to the process. So they're learning to read and they're learning to swim. What a great combination.